Good morning. Here we are to discuss a pediatric ultrasound guided PCNL and a lithoclast lithotropsy. We have a six year old male child with a left renal pelvic calculi, which is a single stone and of 1300 Hounsfield units with a mild hydronephrosis. You could witness the calculi here right in the pelvis of the left kidney. The same is shown on the sagittal section of the CT here. And in the axial section, apart from the stone, the most important thing that you would have a, have a look at is whether the colon is going retrorenal or not. This would be of great importance to make a decision while puncturing the kidney for PCNL. After the placement of UC, the child is placed in a prone position and let us take a look at the landmarks. Here is the spine, the lateral border of erector spinae, the 12th rib, the posterior axillary line and the iliac crest. This is the zone of our interest and let us have a look how when is an ultrasound guided puncture is done. You can see the calculi with the post acoustic shadow and with the use of puncture guide you can see the dotted line. With the use of puncture guide you can see the needle is almost getting into the system. Now we are into the system. Though this puncture guide helps you in guiding the needle into the system, we have punctured this using a free hand puncture. Now, once we are into the system, we would confirm this by putting in the cell line into the system. You can see the resident is putting in the cell line into the system, into the pelvic allison system through the UC and the drops goes on increasing as the cell line goes in filling. At the end, we place in a guide wire through the pelvic allison system into the ureter and the axis, the axis track is dilated up to up to almost 16 French dilator. Here you can see the 16 French dilator into the system, and thereon we would proceed for the PCN. To get into the system, this is how the stone is witnessed, and we are using a pneumatic lithoclast here. A 1.6 mm probe is brought in for the lithotropsy. The biggest advantage of using a lithoclast is there is no electricity involved and there is no heat produced and you are quick in the process of fragmentation. This again goes in line with the principle of any intrarenal surgery that is quick in and quick out. The size of the fragments are supposed to be made in such a way that the size of the fragment is less than the diameter of the sheath that is involved here so that the fragment comes out at ease which you can witness. Here you can see the sheath is got onto the stone and the stone automatically flies into this sheath with a water current. This is known as vril pool effect or vacuum cleaner effect. And here is how the final stent placement is done. Once you are done with the procedure, this is the end of the lithotripsy where you can see the stent placed, no fragments of stones noticed and you have the actual sheath in place at the end. After the procedure is complete, we don't tend to put any PCN tube because we got rid of all the calculi and you can see the size of the puncture site is almost close to 5 mm. This is technically a tubeless PCNL again.
The child was discharged on day two. The stone analysis and metabolic evaluation is still awaited. We will be performing this after probably a month's time. Thank you.